Hey y'all, thank you so much for stopping by Our Gray House. My name is Lisa and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make some anthropology dupe faces out of Dollar Tree products. Super simple, super easy. It only cost me $3 because I had the paint. So let's get started. First step in the process is taping off this face. And so I've gone about, I guess about, about halfway and taped it off and I've tried to make sure it's pressed down because I'm just gonna be painting this side down with the terracotta chalkboard paint. I bought this off Amazon and I hope it works like I want. I want it to look like a piece of terracotta clay. So a little bit into the process, I realized I didn't have anything to put the paint on. So I just poured a little bit onto a piece of wax paper and I'm hoping that it's gonna work. So, Looks like I'm gonna to have to do several coats to get the coverage that I'm hoping for. So this is just basically one coat of that paint and I've tried to be as uniform as I can with it. And I'm not trying to press too much near that seam because I do want the seam to be crisp. I don't want any inadvertent bleeding through because I'm going over it too much. So I'm gonna let this dry on the wax paper for a little bit and then we'll come back to it. First attempt at the base and I was trying to do the yellow one, realized that this face was the same or very similar size to the teal one. So now I'm gonna to try to do the teal. I don't like the contrasting colors being so harsh and just there. So I'm gonna to attempt to, to try this again and see if I can't get a different look. See, the base shape is more similar to this one than it is this one. And this one has a much, I don't know, like it's just a different color yellow. I don't, I'm not sure I like it. And of course the, the bottom terracotta part is a lot lighter as well. So not sure how close I'm gonna get to it because the terracotta color I have is dark. I'm gonna see if I can't, I don't know how to do that, but I'm gonna try. Here is the stuff that I'm gonna be trying to use today. Um, the this turned out fine, but it's just, it turned out fine, but it's not quite what I was wanting. So I'm gonna try to do it again, but this time I've painted the vase white first. Then I'm gonna apply the terracotta to the bottom and I'm gonna apply this to give it kind of a modeled, modeled, I don't know, is that how you say it? Modeled look? Like not splotchy, but not also like, this looks like almost too perfectly painted. So I'm, I'm kind of wanting to, to zhuzh it up just a little bit and this is what I'm using today to do it. Okay, on this one, it was like two almost halfway. I want it just like a little bit down here. So I'm gonna start putting the tape and I'm just pressing down because I'm gonna be painting on this end here. So I'm pressing this down to make sure that as little paint can get up there as possible. I felt like this color was a little too dark so I'm gonna try to lighten it up with just a little bit of this chalk paint. Hope I don't make a mess. Definitely a lighter color. So I'm painting from the tape down um, because that'll hopefully help it not seep up under the tape. Now the thing with using this brush, it's leaving like stroke marks, I guess. Not really sure how to get a smooth finish to it, but I'm okay with it. But um, this is how it looks for now. So I put a pretty generous coat of paint on. I'm gonna let it dry for a while. So I don't really have the crisp line. I mean, obviously some bled through a little bit, but that's okay because now I'm gonna put the blue on top and I'm gonna use some of these other colors try to mix them up a little bit and try to get not just a solid color, but like a not a solid color. Now, I don't know if I'm like messing this up, but I'm just, we're just trying stuff. This is what I have right now. It's not quite the look that is from the inspiration piece, but I really like it. Now I just need to let it dry for a few hours. This is the Spirit Eye Vase, and when I first saw it on the Anthropology website, I thought, 
Oh wow, that looks nice. Not $58 nice, but that looks nice. Also, I thought I could recreate that. So that's what we're gonna try to do right now. This um, is just simple. It's a white face and it's got gold eyes on it. So I did print out the vase and to try to see, you get an idea of what it would take. I bought this vase. It's very similar in dimension to the one on the Anthropology website. This is enlarged, but I was like, okay, okay, I can do this. I spray painted it white, so this cost me a dollar. Already had the spray paint. So now we're gonna try to draw on some eyes and I am gonna try to create it as closely as possible, not just placing eyes all over, but trying to make it really look like, this is my gold paint pen, um, really trying to make it look like the anthropology one. One thing that I had seen another person do on YouTube was to go on the reverse, take some chalk and kind of chalk over the areas that you want to recreate essentially, or like use it as a stencil. And then you can go back with a pencil and write on it and then I could just outline it with my paint pen. So I'm gonna try that method first. So since I don't know exactly where those eyes are, I'm just gonna have to put chalk basically everywhere. So basically that's where, covering up mostly where the eyes are. Now I'm gonna set this down like this, kind of try to align this on top of here. Okay, so you can kind of see where those are. Here's how everything turned out. This is the Spirit Eye Vase and it retails for $58 on the Anthropology website. And like I said, I got the vase for a dollar. Can't beat that. These are the Lenora vases and they retail, I think for $20 on the anthropology site. Again, super easy to make. And I think I might try to recreate them again just because I wanna kind of perfect that painting technique. But I really enjoyed making them. Thank y'all for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. I'm gonna leave a couple other videos in the corners here. Um, I hope you check those out as well. And if you wanna follow me on Instagram or here on YouTube, it's Our Gray House but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye.